What's going on guys? Cole from Vital Fishing out here today at Liars Corner Room. Today we're talking about summertime baits. First thing guys, Waterland Co. Shades, code VITAL for 15% off. Uh, Liars, I think, may start carrying them soon, but you can order them on their website. I like the shades a lot. We'll do a whole other video on those. But yeah, let's go ahead and get in and get right to it. So, let's go. First bait, summertime fishing right here, Mega Bass Sleeper Croth. This is in a green pumpkin blue. This bait I think came out a couple months ago. Um, I've only thrown it twice so far, but I absolutely cracked them on it. Fish were choking it. Um, it's a 5 8 ounce, so it's gonna cast very well. Hook's kind of tucked up under that body. They don't last too long, maybe about six, seven fish, but to me, you know, 10 bucks for a six, seven fish, if they're good fish, that's definitely worth it. So come check out some of these other colors they have. So very wide a range of different colors right here. And what's cool about this is they're all very natural. So it's not like a purple or a yellow or, you know, something weird like that. They're all very natural. Um, and they're, they're similar in color, but they all have different variances. Um, green pumpkin blue though, that's one of my favorite colors for jigs, Texas rigs, especially in the summertime. And I'll eat a night fish with the green pumpkin blue. So mega bass sleeper craw, how you're gonna fish it, you're gonna fish it like a jig. So you're gonna cast it out. Um, it's actually gonna slow, or it's gonna fall pretty slow because those craws right here, or these pinchers actually have air bubbles in them. So the claws are gonna kind of float up. Um, but you're just gonna kind of drag it, maybe do a hop or two. Sometimes I'll just kind of drag it real slow and then I'll just give it a quick little pop and that's just gonna flare it up and I'll let it slowly sink back down. Um, but anywhere, you know, you'd fish a jig or even a Texas rig, the sleeper craw is going to be a, a great option. So let's go on to bait number two. All right, guys, what's going on? New face over here at Liars Corner. My name is Dylan. Uh, going to be helping get the shop run, uh, helping out around here, get some new products in. Obviously, you can see we had a bunch of new 6 cent stuff in, a bunch of new Mega Bass stuff in. Uh, but going along with the theme here today, we're getting uh, top five baits. So bait I'm going to talk about here is going to be these 6 cents crankbaits. Is I've been using these a lot, used them quite a bit last year, using them already quite a bit this year. Here's a couple of my favorite ones here. It's that Cloud, that C20, and that 300DD. I've always thrown a 6XD a lot. That's been one of my favorite baits. That's been one of Cole's favorite baits, but I've, I've become a huge fan of these guys here. Basically, same running depth, similar action, similar sound, but this is going to come with much better hardware, much better treble hooks on it, much better split rings, so I always swap out all my hardware. Saves you that headache. Uh, pretty much that same price point as the 6XD. So those are a phenomenal one. And as you guys can see, they have some awesome colors. We've got a decent amount out. We got more of them coming in. So stay tuned on those ones. We'll be having more stuff come in, but similar on that Cloud 20 right there. Similar to that one there, not quite as much like a 6XD, big hard thump. So if you're trying to draw a lot of commotion, a lot of reaction out of those fish, that uh, Cloud 9 series, those are gonna be the ticket. And we've got everything from the six all the way to the 25. So whether you're fishing shallow, fishing deep, this time of year, I'm gonna start going deep with those bigger cranks, but we've got a little bit of a variety of everything. And like I said, phenomenal, phenomenal colors. I mean, check out some of these colors they've got over there. It's a little different than your typical brand, just it's a little bit more outside the box colors. Oh, that's pretty cool, kind of a crappie. Yeah, crappie color. You don't see that too often in uh -huh. many crankbaits. So especially out of Roosevelt or something like that, that could be a really killer color. So six cents crankbaits, cranking in general, but these six cents one, don't, don't sleep on them. They are a good freaking bait. You know, guys, and another reason they actually brought Dylan over here is Courtney, the owner of the store, his son Gabe, is really struggling with fishing. So they brought Dylan over here just to kind of take him under his wing and, and teach him a little bit. So Dylan, you want to get into your, your second bait here? All right. Second bait we're going to talk about is going to be that big worm is, is once those fish kind of move off, uh, move off their beds, moving out post spawn, uh, get out on ledges, get out on some steeper walls and stuff like that. Uh, two baits you can do, drop shot, which Cole's gonna talk about here in a second. Here's my favorite though. I don't like dragging a little worm. If I'm gonna drag a bait, I wanna drag something big. So these are gonna be a 9.6 inch uh, ribbon tail worm. This is the Busa worm from Six Cents. Same thing, great colors, great action. I'm gonna pop one of these guys out so you can actually see it. So a little bit different body. It's not just that typical slick bodied worm like most companies you're gonna see. It's actually got that ribbed kind of body to it, which is just gonna give that bait a little bit more action, a little bit more movement in the water super thin tail just ton of action out of that bait right there and 
same thing awesome colors they don't have those crazy stupid colors you see with some companies like crazy yellows and whatnot most people are going to want a fish color that's going to work every color they have i would put in my box i mean anything from the natural greens to pinks to purples which if you fish arizona that's that's going to be your go-to color so exactly. that that 9.6 inch busa that's going to be one of my go-to's uh coming after that post spawn time period going into summertime look at we have gabe over here heard dylan talking fishing and I don't, I don't he, know he came over here to <laughs> take some notes. All right, guys, coming in next. You guys seen this before. This is a rubble worm. So one of my favorite things about rubble worm is they don't have all that smelly scent, so your boat's not smelling like garlic. Um, they just have a light salt coating. Is this your favorite color right here? Yeah, it's my favorite. Okay, so we got hologram shad. Um, great clear water color. Um, shad spawn, Lake Pleasant, Havasu, that's a great color. That's basically about the only time I'll throw this is that in clear water situations. Other than that, I'm going to be throwing your morning dons, uh, your ox bloods, your margarita mutilators, your purples and pinks. It's kind of a constant pattern in Arizona and you can always catch fish on it. So this is a six inch. Usually you'll catch better. Usually six you'll catch inch, some, this is uh, bare. Yeah. Usually you'll catch some bigger size fish on the six inch versus four and a half. But I've seen guys catch eight, nine and 10 pounders on four inch rub worms so either one's fine usually what i'll do with these as well is after i use them and catch some fish on them that front gets kind of torn i'll just bite it off and then you got a four and a half inch rubble worm um, but i usually drop shot these some guys will do different things but if i'm throwing a rubble worm 99 percent of the time it's going to be on a drop shot i'll be using these rebar hooks this is a one eye i'll also use the owner um, the cover shots they're the same thing they have a little keeper at the top to hold your bait and then straight shank, and then you're just gonna kind of tuck that that tip of that hook back on the bait. Um, whether you use the rebarb or the owner cover shot, uh, I've had good luck with both, both great hooks. This is a size one knot. If you're fishing a four and a half inch or a four inch drop shot, I'd use a size one. Drop shot weights, this is a tungsten drop shot weight, and I know drop shot weights, you lose them a lot, right? And tungsten gets expensive. I will say that on live scope, your tungsten is gonna show up a lot better. So if, if you can afford it, the tungsten is definitely an advantage. Last but not least, Berkeley Jay Walker. You know we had to have a top water bait in the summertime fishing. This one is probably gonna be my go-to. Um, I'm not gonna to throw too many buzz baits until fall. It's, I kind of got out of my, my buzz bait season. So you can still catch them on buzz baits, but I'm going to the walking bait. Big spook style baits. Uh, you could use spooks. I know a lot of vixens, anything you want, but I like these Berkeley ones. They have the fusion hooks on them. Um, you can kind of hear it. It's pretty high pitched and loud. So these cause a lot of commotion. So basically bomb them out um, and kind of just start walking them. And you can kind of vary your retrieve. So you can go real slow, just kind of side to side. If they're a little lethargic, um, you can pop it with more slack line. And that's gonna make this bait walk in place better. So definitely bury your retrieves. Um, if they're busting shad early in the morning and they're, and they're going crazy, that's when you're gonna really move this thing fast. Um, don't let them get a good look at it and they'll come and blow up on it. But majority of the time, I'm just gonna kind of work it pretty slow and vary my retrieves just like you kind of would with a jerk bait. Uh, 15 pound monofilament with this, and this is in the bone color. There's a lot, a lot of other good colors. Um, if you guys seen my Suaro video, I think that was like two years ago now, but I was catching them on that Chrome and the Jaywalker. So. You know, get up along a, a canyon wall, parallel it, just bomb it out. Um, speaking of that, something else that's cool when you're parallel fishing is you can twitch it once, make it go one way, and then you can hit it hard again, and it'll actually make it dart harder. So you can make it hit that canyon wall. So anytime you can hit a wall or, you know, if you're at Bartlett and there's a rock or that's sticking up or anything that you can kind of hit with this and make commotion, you're gonna wanna do it. A lot of different colors here, um, so definitely come check out their assortment. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, we got Gabe Copley here. Come down and see him, Dylan Long. Totally wrong way to say my name. Copley? Yeah, Copley. Oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for having me in. Um, just some basic summertime baits for you guys to get started. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in here that'll work, but that'd be kind of a good, if you're gonna go build a tackle box for a day of fishing, those lures would be a great place to start. He's a little camera shy, we're, we're working on that. But uh, thanks guys for watching, stay tuned. Fuck monkey, I do not put me in this video. English? All right, guys, here with Gabe. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, where are you going? Uh, I'm not watching film. How you doing, bud? <laughs> All right, guys.
Dylan Long here making a guest appearance. What's going on? New face over here at Liars New Corner. New employee over at Liars Corner. So yes, you, how yes, long sir. you been here? About three, four weeks? I've been here. I've been here a little over a month now. Uh, just kind of helping run the place, getting everything set up, get some new products in. Obviously, you can see. Oh, that's enough, enough about you. Let's go ahead and get into the cranks. All right. 